Esta entrevista com Clive Wilson, campeão mundial de veteranos de mais 60. Clive, congratulations. I think you, you didn't lost a set all week, so how happy are you about this title? Yes, yeah. Oh, it's been a great week and um, you know it's uh, playing against different players all around the, the world and um, I've always wait, wanting to try and win the world champs in different age groups from 35, 40, up to 60. But there's a lot of tough players out there. But this time around, I managed to get one of the titles, the World um, Indi Individual Masters Championships. And to today, I, I just played really, really well. In fact, the whole week, I just played really unbelievable tennis. The first three matches, I have a lot of six loves, six loves, six loves, six loves, and then it sucked. And then my toughest match was uh, on the center court, you know, against um, one of my opponents. It was like seven, I think it was seven, six, yeah. you know, six, four, and yeah, so I'm so glad to, to win this championships, and it's, it's a great achievement, yeah. I'll go back to that match of the semi-finals in a bit, but it's your first world title. Are you surprised? Were you coming to Portugal with the goal of winning the championships? How did you see this week? Because it was phenomenal for you. Was that your goal in the beginning of the week to, to win the championships? Uh, yes, yes, that's the beginning of the week. I, was, um, I actually trained hard and I was uh, put my mind to it. You know, I always wanted to to be a champion. So I really, I really, you know, got my mind to this uh, week. So it was so great. So, um, yeah. And now that you've done it, how does it feel? Uh, were you nervous before the final? No, how no, are you now? Yeah, um, you know, I wasn't nervous through the whole week. I just managed to calm myself down and just go through the motions, you know, and yeah. Uh, It was unbelievable for me. It's um, I wasn't nervous at all, even in the the, the finals, the semi-finals. I wasn't nervous. I just um, went through the game. Yeah, great. I think that was not your first uh, world championship. You played many in the past, but there was a gap. I think so uh, between yes. this one and the last one. Why was that? Why did you choose oh, to play? Yeah, it's it's a an, It's a difficult one. It's um, it's all about um, financial situation. You know, um, with the World Championships, you know, you have to pay your own way to get to the championships. And this time around, in Portugal's uh, World Champs, I managed to get a sponsor, a very good friend of mine. We managed to get a sponsor, and that helped a lot. Yeah, and that's basically it, and that's why I got here. Yeah. Otherwise, other world champs, I wouldn't be able to travel. Yeah. It's just the the way it is. Yeah. Go Go, going back to your performances, you dominated in all of them, except maybe in yesterday's semi-finals, which was pretty close. Paulo, your opponent, served for the first set twice. He had a set point. Yes. Do you think that first set made a difference yesterday? And, and how was it for you to face a Portuguese player with some crowds uh, rooting for him? Yes. Was it a special atmosphere for you? Yeah, yeah. The, you mean the, like the first set? So, yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. It, it seemed like a tight match. Yeah. But then you won the first set, and it seemed like you were in control. Ah, yes, yes. It seemed um, like the, fir the first set made a difference. Yes. Did it you makes feel that a big way? difference. It makes yeah. a big difference. Once, once you win the first set, you can get uh, a little bit more relaxed. You know, if you if you lose the first set, there's there's so much intense yeah. to do the whole match. Now you got to think, wow, got to win one point at a time and then you've got to go through every single uh, point in the match like that but from from the second set if i win the second set you know there's my more chances of winning the, the third set yeah. yeah your opponent paulo was the best portuguese this week Yes. He reached the, the, the semi-finals yeah, in was. singles, he was the best Portuguese. What can you tell us about him? What did you think about his game? Oh, it was very tough. My opponent, um, from the semi-finals yeah. onwards, 
Yeah, it was, um, he was tough. He was like, uh, sort of uh, Federer, <laughs> like Federer play. He's got <laughs> yeah. the, the, the strokes, <laughs> exactly. Roger Federer, and so he just stroked down the line, and his movement is unbelievable. And I, myself, wouldn't know how to cope, but I just got through it. And then, yeah, it was a tough match. Yeah. Talking about that, I, you, I, I, I think you wouldn't mind if you, if you I'm asking about your technique because it's quite unusual to yes. be two hands from both sides. Yes. Uh, where did that come from? Why did you choose to play both hands in both sides? I'll tell you what happened. In my younger days, it's, um, the, the rackets were very heavy. Right. And they uh, had very heavy wooden rackets. And I wasn't a very strong boy when I was young. So my father got me into, into tennis, first of all, and then I couldn't swing with one, one arm, so I had to play with two hands. And my father said to me, son, you play with two hands. I says, yeah, I feel comfortable. He says, play with it. And ever since, I've played two hands up to now. And a lot of people around the world were very fascinated about my mm. two-hand style. Yes. And and one one of the French uh, players came up to me. He says, um, "Ah, you remind me of Fabrice Santoro. <laughs> yeah. You know, he's yeah. also yes. two-hand both sides. And yeah, it's not because I saw him on TV and why I want to play like him. No, it's just myself. And one more thing, I've never been coached professionally. Oh. My dad was my coach, but he wasn't a, a proper tennis coach. He just said, you go on the tennis court, you just enjoy your match. And that's why I won this world championship. So I went on the court and I enjoyed it. Yeah. When, when did you start this? How old were you when you started playing oh, tennis? I started very late. So. Around about 12 years of age, okay. yeah, so 48 years ago, and yeah, so uh, my first, my first tournament I won was under 14 championships, and I said to my father, hey, dad, I'm not ready for this tournament, I've only been playing for one and a half years, he said, go out and enjoy your game, <laughs> and I won, I beat the number one, two and three C without dropping the set. Without dropping the set. And that's that was my great achievement in my junior days. And the good one, the highlights of my junior highlights is I got a, a picture in the paper, in the local paper. Oh, nice. So it was great. <laughs> Alright. Okay. Years later you played Davis Cup for you for your country. Was that a highlight of your career, playing for your country? So you again? You played Davis Cup? Yes, yes. <laughs> was yes, that a highlight of, course, of your was, career? It was my biggest highlight, professional highlight. Unfortunately, I didn't go on to play the professional circuit, ATP or challenges, because at the time, my parents weren't that wealthy to send me overseas. And yeah, and I just played Davis Cup for my country. Yeah, I was so, so good. But don't forget, it's, I, although I'm not a South African citizen, but I played for Zimbabwe, Davis Cup. Oh, okay. Davis Cup was for Zimbabwe? Zimbabwe, oh, I didn't know Davis it. Cup. Okay. And yeah, I've been, I played for the team for five or six years, as I can think about it. Yeah, so... Um, because you were yeah. born in Zimbabwe, or are your parents from, from there? So You were born there? Yes, Zimbabwe? I was born in Zimbabwe, okay. then, then moved you moved to, to South, South Africa. Africa. Yeah. Now I'm based in Australia. In Australia, that's yes. why you play so much in Australia. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Where in Australia? Sorry? Where in Australia? Uh, in Melbourne. Sorry. Oh, nice. That's yeah. the perfect city. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's a perfect city. Yeah, it's wonderful. Yeah. So, yeah. And that's, um, that's basically it. That's um, good. Alright. And what about Portugal? What oh, you... Portugal. What a, what a beautiful <laughs> weather to come in. No? Okay, although it was hot, yeah. but I loved it. <laughs> and the people were great. I loved the people around here. 
it was a great, great yeah, atmosphere and the, the people, the organizers for the tournament was fantastic. Yeah. So no, no fuss. Everybody was 100% great people. Thank you. Perfect. Thank you. Thank you. Congratulations. Congratulations.